In our first implementation of the basic strategy, we saw really good backtest performance, but the profit per trade was really low. As a result, this just wouldn't be feasible to trade at retail trading costs. So let's have a look to see if we can force the strategy to take longer trades. This is going to increase our profit per trade, we hope, and cut down on trading costs. The trade-off here, there's always a trade-off, is that we'll be taking fewer, longer trades. And of course, we're introducing the potential for bias as we cherry-pick entry times. And we must keep that in the back of our mind at all times. So a review of the seasonal plot suggests that entering around 11am and holding until the end of the day might be reasonable. That way we avoid the volatility around the US Open and we get some longer trades. Let's have a look. So here we've increased the profit per trade to 1.2 pips, which is quite substantial. We've, got, we've doubled the profit per trade. But we've done that at the expense of the number of trades and the risk-adjusted performance. So this version took only 30% of the trades of the previous one. So we've doubled the profit per trade, but we need to be skeptical as to how robust a finding is. So let's try and break it. What happens if we move the period over which we take trades to between 11am and 12am? Previously we were just taking them at 11am, now let's move that out an hour and take them between 11 and 12, well, between the hours of 11 and 12. So this isn't a result that inspires confidence really. We've shifted our trade entry simply by one hour, or expanded that window by one hour, and the backtest result is significantly worse. So our average profit per trade has dropped to 0.3 pips, and the performance is poor even without taking costs into account. So this isn't great, but before we give up, let's look to see how consistent the effect is on all the major currency pairs. Remember, we're collecting evidence from all angles here, and then we'll make a decision about what we do.